This dog, yeah, this cute little guy, just destroyed 100 thieves. But Teets, how could that thing take down a franchise team? Well, actually, pretty easily. This pup is arguably the strongest ability in the game, and 100 thieves couldn't do anything to stop him. I mean, Sky's pick rate has skyrocketed for a reason. This boy is really just that good. Now I'm going to showcase what makes this hound so powerful, how you can take advantage of it, and you'll see why this cute thing might need a nerf. So if you take a look at both teams' compositions, you'll see that they're both running Sky. She's really strong. Her flashes get you a lot of information throughout each round, and she has the best heal in the game. But the strongest part about her kit is her loyal companion. Ever since Riot nerfed Sova's drone duration into the ground and turned Fade's Prowlers into paper mache, teams have been taking advantage of this dog. It's got 100 health, has good speed, and it lasts forever. And he's just a really good boy. This dog's also great at countering Cypher, who's another popular pick on this map. It just demolishes his setups. But now if you put Crashies, arguably the best initiator in the world on Sky, then you have a really good recipe for success. So energy start in a 2-3 setup, and they're running a really cool play with these three over by A. 100 Thieves are in a 1-4 setup and are playing full retake on B while stacking A. Energy start the round with a breach stun extending through rope and sand, a sky flash, and artist dashes in. But FNS and Crashies are selling this fake, no matter what it takes. FNS flashes A main twice, sends out his aftershock, and Crashy's dog follows suit. And he's actually the most important part of this entire fake. Now it's hard to tell from our point of view, but this dog leaps out to sight, turns the corner, and potentially spots four people. I mean, it probably saw three, but regardless, this pup saw a lot of people because you immediately see Brimstone and Killjoy sprint out onto sight and take it. The fake has worked. This wolf has given energy, the confidence, and the read to take this timing onto sight. Who's a good little boy? You. Yes, you are. A hundred thieves are rotating in, but NRG were given just enough time to set up into strong crossfires. And if you look closely, the defense doesn't have a lot of utility to play with because of how good the fake was on A. So this retake is going to be hard. It's so important over towards Arcade. First bit of a pump there towards Jenny Wide swing as well. Coverage from the rest of his team. Asana needs to get a kill. Needs to try and find his one here to the side. Some though. Enough time being bought, Stella pushing them back, Som low enough, a bit of spam, one chip damage will do it, but he still survives in the middle of all of this. And the post Energy stomped out against the Eco round, and 100 Thieves were able to clean up the bonus round nicely. So both teams have solid loadouts heading into round 4. But Energy have low credits, so this is an important swing round. They start with 3 players on Dish and 2 players towards the south. They were eventually going into an A split through Dish. 100 Thieves are in a 3 2 spread. They're contesting B main pretty hard, and they're trying to push Energy into Cryo, who's posted up in A main, alongside Stellar, and his anchor set up on site. Fracture is all about being proactive. If you're not fighting, you're losing. So this is a great idea. 100 Thieves open the round with a Brimsmoke for B main, a Fault Line, and a Guiding Light. And Victor spots all of this. So Energy save their utility and contact up Dish since there's a pretty low chance defenders are going to be here. And you even see FNS save his Fault Line. Crashy's also got info with his flash and knows someone is in A main. So he waits for his Dish teammates to get closer and Victor to double up with him, and then he goes for a jump spot. He sees Cryo pushed up this far, so he pops his Seekers, and his best friend follows close behind. Now, Sky's cabbages on her own are pretty decent. They give you good info, something to trade off of, but if you pair them with Sky's dog, then the defense is forced to respect your push. There's simply just too much utility to shoot, and you're going to overwhelm the defense. And Cryo knows this. He doesn't know who's following behind this horde of abilities, so he starts to run. And Asuna can't come out either. He's stuck in rope and has to respect this space. Then, to top it all off, this dog lunges forward and still tags Cryo. Because of this bite and all of this utility, Stellar no longer has anyone playing sight with him. He has to go big. They're splitting up into convergence onto the site. The dash rolls from Ardis. High ground contained, yet still Stella. He's anchoring, raining supreme, and he's got the help of the rest. Stellar setup has bought just enough time for Cryo to come out and help him. A hundred thieves have turned the round into a four versus two, but Sky's dog didn't die for nothing. He goes full John Wick of his team barreling through a flood attempted Crashies flashes out of the smoke and turns this into a 2 versus 2 with Victor's kill on Asuna. This has turned into a disaster for 100 Thieves. But they still have one advantage. The spike got dropped right under Dish. NRG's search and rescue mission won't be easy. Spike out into the open. A fight wants to be taken straight to them. A smoke to cut off one of the angles. This is risky. 
Mario right, potentially opened himself up there to many, many angles, but backs away to safety. Now a flash as well, pushing a back, comes out and it's... Oh my word! 100 Thieves knew their setup and tried to pick them apart from each other with their breach utility, but Crashies punishes hard. Don't ever get between a boy and his dog. Because Crashies bailed them out last round, NRG can have a full-ish buy. But whichever team loses this one will be forced to save next round. This one's vital. NRG start this round in a 1-4 top-bottom setup with Killjoy getting constant information with this turret. If she receives a ton of pressure, her teammates are going to respond accordingly. And 100 Thieves are in a 3-2 arcade dish pinch setup. Their game plan is to take this north side of the map and play retake on the other with Derek's rolling thunder. Naturally, when defenders pinch like this, the offense's response is to quickly take other parts of the map. So you're essentially clearing one half of the map, so your retake is much easier. Trust me, it's a really solid plan, and it's why we see strategies like this so often. The defense starts the round with a stun from tower, a breach flashpoint, and their sky uses their dog to clear out dish. But as soon as Victor's turret breaks, he's out of there. He takes the zip line, and energy respond by taking B main quick. They rip their fault line, Artis dashes into his cloudburst, but 100 Thieves stomp out this execute with their rolling thunder. This ult completely isolates Artis, and he needs help. If he dies, Energy probably won't have another chance to get onto his site. But wait, what? what's that? Is that a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Sky's dog! The only one who didn't get rocked by Breach's ultimate is this wolf. So Crashies lets him loose, and he bites Cryo literally right before Artis would have died. This dog just single-handedly, wait, single, single-pawedly? I, I don't know. Save this execute for NRG. Does he realize, still Artis is there, off to the side, dash up, draft, it doesn't matter, he does not survive. A flood in, it's up to back. Holding his ground behind the dice angle again, but it's watched for. And NRG looking so damn in control. Had this superhero dog not have stepped in, Energy surely would have lost this round. 100 Thieves finally take a timeout and try to figure things out. Bro, why can't you do cool tricks? Roll over. Speak. Go kill FNS. <laughs> I wish my dog would do cool tricks. Now, 100 Thieves are on a really light buy, but they can still win it. Their plan is to grab an ult orb for Cryo near Dish so he gets his Bladestorm online, and hopefully their side anchors can stall long enough on B. But NRG are rushing quick. They know 100 Thieves just came out of a timeout, and by making a fast play, they can catch them off guard and disrupt their new plan. They're flip-flop from last round, and have four people pushing Arcade, with Killjoy holding the south. NRG sprints out of the gate by staggering a Breach and Skyflash, Aftershock Tower, and they start to head into a play I've never seen before in this map. He is definitely going for the Operator here. Got the Bladestorm though as well, could potentially do some work, but there is no time wasted. Artis pushing forwards, and Util 3. Energy have pushed spawn, and with good set pieces. I mean, I've seen teams fight into there before, but that was more of a reactionary thing. This was literally a set play to push this part of the map. We see Sky Seekers, a breach fault line to cover generator and spawn. This play completely takes 100 Thieves by surprise and puts them in a 5 versus 2. Cryo and Asuna are rotating in from Dish, but as soon as Crashy spots them, his dog comes out to play and shuts them out of this round. Exchange Cryo's got that one in his hands, yet loses the fight regardless. That's no do well to just try and save this one. If you can even get out at all. After Energy's sick push spawn strat last round, both teams are back on the full buys, but this time, Cryo has an op. He and his team are positioned in a 3-2 setup and plan on playing retake on B with Sky Seekers while Jet and Sky get aggressive in A main. But NRG plan on slamming A site with 4 players and Victor's lurking up north again. FNS opens a round with this angled fault line that actually might be the new meta with how teams like to take sand, and it's paired with a flash from Crashies. And this completely disrupts 100 Thieves setup. Cryo is forced to fall back and can't follow up off of Asuna's guiding light. Artist dashes up, Throws down a cloudburst to deny vision, but he gets tagged by a 100 Thieves dog. This completely stops Energy's momentum, and for the time being, 100 Thieves have sand control. But Crashies and his partner in crime aren't letting that happen. He lets his friend off his leash, and FNS even flashes for it. Now, just look at how much respect this wolf is commanding. Jet scurries back into spawn, and it actually opens up the site for NRG. They're worried that someone might be behind it, and if they get tagged, they're screwed. The amount of space and pressure that this dog is making is enormous. NRG lay down their smokes, but 100 Thieves stall them with an Aftershock and Burmolt to back them off. But the attackers want to go away. Artis gets banged through the smoke, and they rip their own Rolling Thunder. 
Cryo tries to make a play to take back a main, but FNS sprays him down. Asuna goes for the trade, but he also gets wall banged for literally 149 HP. Now with all these powerful crossfires set up by NRG, 100 Thieves understand they don't have a chance to win this round anymore, and are just better off saving. Man, I, I wish these rounds were longer, but like, these executes happen within like the first 20 seconds of the round. This is a fast-paced game. 100 Thieves really need to gain some momentum back if they want to avoid losing this series. NRG and their 6 men have just been pounding them round after round, and it's been rough. They start this round in a 2-3 setup and plan on punishing Crashies for always throwing his flashes into A main at the start of every round. And NRG are still hitting sites ASAP. They have 3 players geared up to split B through Arcade, and are also investing a Killjoy lockdown that'll flush out the entire site. 100 Thieves set the tone by flashing A main, Breach rips his fault line, and Asuna sends out his dog. Crashies hears all of this and tells his team. So they immediately pick up the pace and make their way into tower. Artist updrafts, FNS fault lines for him, but Stellar still takes him down. But NRG still have their Killjoy ult ticking down, so they're just thinking, oh, okay, our entry died, but that's okay, we can just go in after our ult. But Crashies thinks to himself, hmm, what if they pushed out of A main after not seeing anything with their dog? Hey boy, can you check our flank for us? Woof, woof. Bro, what am I doing with my life? So Crashy sends their six men to make sure 100 Thieves aren't pushing. And because of its insane duration, it spots three attackers that are hot on their flank. So Crashy relays this information to his teammates right away, and they speed up their take. They don't have time to wait for the lockdown to go off, so they push in quick and trade out the two site players. And because Crashy's pet told them that the remaining players were flanking, he heads straight into their spawn to set up a really solid crossfire. These players don't know it, but they're about to be thrown around like a chew toy. They've allowed 100 Thieves to do that Halls push, and this is where their retakes look decent. Crashy's positioning, though, I think should win them the round. They're all from main. All the strikes while pushing them back. Cut up, crossed up, cryo dashes forwards, but... I mean, Derek just... 100 Thieves were split up, and this puts Derek in a 2 versus 1. He's pulled these off before, but it won't be easy. Through the ultimate. Left alone in this 1v2. And it's that post-plant positioning. Crashy's holding close. Derek tried to break up the crossfire with his fault line, but Sam's reposition snuffed out this clutch. So after some insane playmaking from Artis last round, things aren't looking great for 100 Thieves. They're on a pretty weak half buy and are looking at another potential round loss. But I mean, hey, these guys are pros. They can't think that they're out of it yet. The defense starts in a 3-2 setup and are fighting Arcade while playing Retech on A with Killjoy's Lockdown. And NRG are one point off of their Breach's Rolling Thunder. Dish has been relatively free for most of this game, so they feel like they can snag a free orb here. So the offense is in a 3-2 north-south spread. Both teams start by trading flashes in A main, FNS stuns Dish, and Victor has full B main control with his turret. They then flash into Dish, grab the orb, and just like that, they have a fresh Breach ult. But Bang hears this push, and tells his arcade teammates to try and push out further to try and punish this play. They're contacting down this time, as every round so far, they've shown utility every time they've pushed. They want to take energy off guard, but energy know that this push is possible. So Sam starts to jiggle peek, and he sees Cryo pushed out this far. Partner Thieves keep pushing, and they set up a bait setup near this north part of the map. Now, energy aren't really worried about these guys and their bad guns, they just want to see if they kept aggressing. So Sam jump spots just a few more times, and him and FNS head out to clear the area. But they have no idea that Stellar is right here. Also might start to play a part. This is dangerous. Stellar's crossed here. They don't seem to be aware at all. Swings wide. This bait setup has worked perfectly. They turned this bad buy round into a three versus three. Victor in response has taken the rope to help Artis, but now they're faced with a tough decision. How long are they going to try and protect these guns for? Because if 100 Thieves can somehow grab these weapons, this could be the momentum shifting round that they need. But in the meantime, Crashies realized that, hmm, they pushed out heavy towards Arcade. That means that A main, or even A site, has to be weak. This is a 1v1 I want to take. So we lurked up all the way and onto site, and without using any util, has taken it. After clearing out its entirety, he calls his teammates over and understands that 100 Thieves could only be in one spot, spawn. But will Bang recognize that someone could be on site? Been contacting through, and now he's going to be making a call, a comm. Guys, the A site looks pretty clear. Crashies takes down Bang, and NRG now have a solid win condition back into the round. Crashies' loyal companion comes out again and heads into spawn to sniff out any other potential defenders. And because the dog is taking care of spawn, you see NRG focus their crosshairs on Sans. 
the only thing that isn't clear. This is great communication coming from NRG, but it's only a three versus two. This round definitely isn't over. A hundred thieves rotate in and Derek picks up a rifle on the way over. With his ult online, they have a good win condition. Derek starts the retake by aftershock and default and Asuna peeks out to punish. But despite Crashies trying to flash for artists, a hundred thieves even out the odds. It's a two versus two and NRG are about to get rocked by this rolling thunder. You push them back, Victor, does he have Nana Swarms on that spike? That's the nope. question. Not in sight, starting to tap this one, pushing forwards, Asna taking the fight, half under the fuse, sticking it through, no, gets over it, trying to double play it. Derek, you need to win this fight out, and it's still alive. This game has been nothing short of a Sky Masterclass from Crashies, and this game has truly been a treat to watch. Energy went on to close the half 11 to 1, truly a dominating performance. But 100 Thieves managed to win the force after dropping Pistol and the round after that. There's a low chance that they actually come back, but against pro teams, you cannot let your foot off the gas until the game is actually over. Energy start their defense in a 2 3 hold with Kildra anchoring sight. Jet in a strong one and out angle, and on A, they have Breach and Sky fighting for A main and Brim spotting Dish. A hundred thieves have four people up north and Killjoy spotting the south side for any defensive pushes. Their plan is to break some Killjoy utility on B, then head back to A. The offense starts the round with a Sky Breach flash combo, and Cryo peeks into sight and breaks Killjoy's turret. Within the first 10 seconds, a hundred thieves have already damaged energy setup, but with Artis on top of Jenny, it doesn't do anything. No one moves. After Artis realizes that no one is following up, you see Breach and Sky return to their positions and retake the space. Now because they just left A main, and they've received a good amount of pressure in Arcade, Crashies takes his muzzle off his friend and lets him run free into A main. And again, we see some incredible game sense from Crashies. Because his dog cleared out so much space and got shot from so far back, he takes the space in A main. Now because 100 Thieves lost A main, they execute out of dish behind their own Sky Seekers and flood into sight. Okay, now try and follow along. So Crashies recognizes the space that his dog has created for him, but he doesn't know for sure if Killjoy is still there or not. But that doesn't really matter. Because in order for Killjoy to come up behind him and shoot him in the back, it'd take her about 10 seconds just to turn the corner if she was completely quiet. And if she runs, he'll hear her and adjust. So he uses these 10 seconds to form a crossfire on site with his team. He gets the trade on Sam, flashes out, and gets Cryo 2. This site hold was so successful because energy were applying pressure from so many lanes. And then when Crashies feels safe, you even see him immediately flick his crosshair back to A main because he knows these 10 seconds are up. That Killjoy, if she was here, would be swinging him at this time. This incredible display of game sense is something you only see out of the world's best players, and Crashies is just that. But hey, we'd be idiotic not to credit his loyal companion for the dominant performance he displayed in this series. NRG win, and he was the MVP.